What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. It was against this clan, uh, this Medan Warrior clan, um, clearly uh, a modding clan. You know, they were, were very secretive about it. Uh, probably had eight or more, uh, zero percent attacks right off the bat. Frustrating, but it is what it is. Uh, no sense in whining about it. Uh, Invicta gave it their best. Uh, 87 83, they did uh, end up losing, though, unfortunately. Um, very, very difficult war to win. Uh, they gave it their best, like I said. You know, uh, missed, I think, four of the nines here. So that was the difference in score. Um, could have cleaned those up and then had it come down to destruction. <clears throat> so, uh, unfortunately, they fell short. And it sucks, but uh, there are some really nice replays in here I want to show. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Not going to waste a lot of time. Uh, so here is our wonderful TH11 robots again. Showing us how to bully these Town Hall 10s um, via these these newer, uh, the newer troop comps. Now, I did mention in a previous video that I felt <clears throat> Town Hall 11s bullying 10s was uh, easier is the, wor the word I used. And I don't think that was the correct term, uh, just for lack of a better term. Um, I think less tactful was more what I was going for. Um, cause you could not bring this army comp and just throw it at a max town hall nine. If you were a 10, obviously you wouldn't have a grand warden, um, and expect a three star. However, at 11 versus a 10, you kind of can't, right? You see all these witches going in here, um, basically spam all the troops in from 12 o'clock. The only troops remaining are these 10 hogs. He's going to send in from the nine that don't get, that don't get a lot of value to be honest. Uh, they take out one, two, three, four, five, maybe six defenses on this nine o'clock location and then hit a double giant bomb here and are taken out of the raid. So the rest of this raid is all up to everything underneath this Grand Warden. And I feel like the way Supercell has set this up now is because of the way the Grand Warden um, aura works is all the troops within the aura are protected. Now, well, what that tells me is you have to spam as many troops beside the Grand Warden as you can to get that value out of him. Um, so that's kind of where the witches come into play because if you drop a lot of witches with that Warden, they're gonna get big, big value, just constantly creating those skeletons while the witches are protected. Um, I don't know, I'm still not convinced uh, I did get a comment back on that last video that I'm talking about where I uh, I had mentioned the bully attacks and the differences and a guy who's clearly there. And again, I'm not there. So again, this is just from my observations. Uh, and a guy was saying it is way more difficult for 11s to hit 10s than 10s to hit 9s. To me, it's just less tactful because, yeah, this isn't always going to three-star a Town Hall 10 if you're a Town Hall 11. However... It's, I think this is going to three-star a 10 more than a 10 trying this versus a 9 is going to three-star, if that makes sense. Um, so I think the word I was looking for was less tactful because you're just spamming troops. And the way the Grand Warden works is it promotes you to just spam all your troops in the same spot and let them roll through the base. So as long as you can take care of via jumps or via earthquakes like Robaz does here, you're going to have a lot of success bullying these uh, bullying these tens. Um, so he, does, like, he doesn't even bring that many witches, right? Like three witches, uh, four golems, a bunch of wizards, and a handful of hogs, a sprinkle of hogs, and just rolls through this... Uh, this Town Hall 10. So again, I'm still not convinced. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this play style that they've promoted now with the Town Hall 11s, but is what it is. We embrace and we move on. Uh, obviously, as uh, time goes on and we see more and more and more 11s versus 11s and 11 versus 10s, we'll get a better idea of what it is that I'm kind of seeing now. Um, but like I said, I think what I was looking for was just less tactful because to me, it's just spray and pray uh, with Town Hall 11, no matter what you're doing, because just spam a bunch of troops with your Grand Warden and hope for the best. So moving on here. Um, newer face in Invicta is Justin K. Uh, brings a really sexy little Queen Walk attack with Earthquakes here. Um, goes ahead and drops the Queen down over about the 3 o'clock location. Drops the Wizard to create that little funnel off the Army Camp. Army Camps are great. Uh, one thing about Queen Walks, that I'm learning a huge piece of it isn't necessarily what buildings are destroyed. It's more so when the buildings are destroyed because she is going to kind of have this little um, 
I don't know the way to describe it. It's it's like a like dominoes. If that army camp was alive when she killed that building, she probably wouldn't have went to the army camp first. So a huge piece of, of what I'm trying to say is, is when the building dies, not necessarily what buildings are dead, it's when they die. Because uh, a huge piece of, of where she's going to go depends on what is still available in her vision. Um, so just play with that a little bit, guys. You got to remember uh, certain buildings need to be destroyed before she finishes destroying the building she's working on. Because every time she kills a building, she's going to do a quick recheck of what is in her vision and go to that next building. Um, so think of the when, guys. Uh, that, that's another big piece to your queen walks here. So everything's going down. Lava Hound's taken care of. Queen's going to move in. He goes ahead and sends in the shattered entry from this 11 o'clock location. Creates the funnel on the other side with just a few whiz. Opens up the wall there. Everything's looking good. Wall opens up. Golem's route in. <clears throat> drops another wizard. Make sure that army camp goes down. King goes in behind. Drops a couple hogs to get some good value off that archer tower and continue to push the golems in in front of that king. King's going to lock on to that queen in a sec. Everything's looking fine and dandy. I thought this was a cool little move. Keeps two wall breakers in the bag because as soon as this queen starts working on that wall, boom, sends in the wall breakers, opens up the wall for the queen. It's going to allow her to get right in back in with that kill squad and help do them work. So a few hogs in, right? Going to try and protect his king further here and protect these wizards in, do a cleanup, um, send, just lose a few hogs to that spring trap. So he has to re, uh, reinforce them a little bit off that mortar. But as you can see, just sprinkling them in, right? Gets them in under that heel. Going to take care of that Tesla. Does have a few more, I believe. He sends in on this cannon. There they are. <clears throat> Does lose a couple more. Some really nice, uh, well-placed spring traps, I should say. Uh, so his hogs do pitter out, but those two hogs trigger that double giant bomb. <clears throat> does have a, a another hog here working, but it's just not enough. So if you look, there's there's no more hogs remaining, but does have an ability on his king. Uh, queen is still at half health, doing work, using the king as a tank. Drops cleanup wizards on the outside here. Rages up the king to get through that lava wall and then through the next lava wall as well. Um, so king's just kind of standing there doing tanking. The only defenses remaining are this mortar and the archer tower. So everything's just going to move through here. The queen and king are going to take care of that arch tower. No problem. He's already got cleanup uh, on the other side as well. Down goes the arch tower. Down goes the trash. Swag heel in the center. Justin K just killed this base. That's tree stars in the bag. Nice job, man. All right. Uh, what do we have? Number 10. I mentioned before, uh, Derpa Dude brings some really nice attacks. His heroes are getting really maxed out now. Um, brings a nice little Valk attack with a double jump here. Going to get really, really nice value out of these Valks, and you're going to see why. So goes ahead and creates the funnel. Um, I liked uh, how he used the buildings on the outside uh, to anchor his golems and create his funnel from there. Generally, guys, when you're placing buildings on the outside, you want to uh, draw your golems away from the funnel, not have them in a perfect spot to tank everything while you create your funnel, if that makes sense. The, um, a lot of times you just don't have room on the inside of your base, so you've got to plug that, that defense in on the outside. But try and use them a little more tactfully uh, and really draw golems away from entry points. Uh, but everything's going in, right? Uh, one thing I liked about this was the delay on the queen. He still has not dropped that queen. Now she goes down. Lava Hound is, she's going to lock on the Lava Hound, and the Lava Hound is just going to yank her right into this base, which is exactly what he wants. Jump is down, Valks are, everything's moving in, that first DGB gets triggered. <clears throat> Queen moves in there, going to start locking onto that Lava Hound, rocking everything down here, looking good at this point. Uh, Hogs going from the 6 o'clock location, rocking down these defenses like nothing. Sorry, my daughter's going crazy upstairs apparently. <laughs> second jump is down though uh finally that lava hound gets burst does drop the poisons to help out with the with the pups again everything's just continuing to yank this queen through the base which i thought was really good valks moving in now so he does play the game called fall of the valks here and as soon as the valks are in here doing tanking from all these defenses what does he do reinforces with the hogs right just protecting the kill squad with your hogs or with your balloons it's what you got to do when you're valking so I, all these defenses are down on the outside. Drops a heal over top of this uh, Tesla trap. 
and it's going to get really good value out of the rest of these hogs. I don't think they quite make it through the end of these defenses, as you can see. Uh, oh, does trigger the double giant bomb there. Uh, loses another one to spring trap, so it doesn't quite have enough hogs to get through the rest of this. They do jump up. I believe they take out this mortar, but they it just don't have enough gas to take out that wizard tower and arch tower. But luckily, he's got his full health king uh, and this queen moving in here. Uh, as soon as she takes care of this wall, she's going to walk in and take care of those last defenses. Got clean up wizards taking care of that trash on the bottom. King is slowly working his way through that lava wall, and eventually he's going to work his way, start working uh, on this other wall here, uh, but it doesn't matter. You'll see this in one moment. Dark Luxor Storage goes down. Queen steps up, takes out the Wiz Tower, just takes out that Archer Tower in time, and it's clean up. Wizards do their job. Bam, bam, bam. Down goes the trash, and that is your tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Derp. Sexy tree. <clears throat> All right. I think I had, yeah, I got two more I'm going to show you here. So Kinger. Brings a really nice attack. Another Valk attack here with the double jump. Um, I definitely would have opted as well for the exact same army comp pretty much here because if you look what the double jump opens up with your bases sometimes, guys, uh, he's going to open up this wall, which opens up this compartment. He's going to jump over this little T intersection, which opens up these two compartments. And then he's going to jump right basically over that clan castle, which opens up the rest of this. So the entire core of this base is open so all he needs to worry about is these little outer compartments uh to deal with with these 20 hawks so he does a really good job this year uh everything moves in uh is a little scary uh on the early deployment of these valks because they're standing under these uh that whatever valks jumped over to this section all get destroyed by those balloons uh, like i mentioned before you know two balloon shots on your valks and they are so you got to be really careful about that. Does still have a few remaining. Lucky that dragon locks on to uh, the golem. So the queen can take care of it accordingly. Down goes the dragon. Everything's moving in. Defensive queen is now dead. So he immediately commences with this hogging. Few hogs in on each of these defenses. Like I said, it's really just got to worry about these outer compartments. Uh, even has golemites in there. Uh, has a golem tanking that Tesla farm up there, which I really like the kind of split splitness of his hogs. Because while he's getting tanking from that golem, drops a heal and those hogs that are just going to rip through all of those Teslas that are in the same compartment. I've also gone through that before. I don't think it's a good idea ever to have all of your Teslas in the same compartment. You really want to separate them from walls. Because like I said, imagine if, I know the jumps connect to everything, but imagine if you had one in this one, one in this one, and one in this one. Uh, it would have they would have lasted a lot longer. I know the hogs are gonna jump right over the wall. Sorry, my girl is going nuts. Um, we're gonna speed this up a little bit because it's cleanup time, and King just destroys this base. Nice job, King. Stepping up, hit number fifteen. Good job. All right, we're going to fly through this one. Apparently, my daughter's having a meltdown upstairs. Uh, what did I want to show you? All right, we got Rob's hit on 25 here. Um, Rob brought a really nice cold-blooded, sort of cold-blooded, cold-blooded with a few giants, uh, Lalo here. So uh, drops the giants in, do a little bit of tanking, wants to conserve his golem a little bit. Oh, he didn't even bring a golem. That's right. All he brought was these giants. So it's almost like a suicide hero. Boom. Down goes the wall. It is, too. My bad. I thought he brought a golem. He brought only four giants, so even more conservative than a cold-blooded. Uh, as you can see, only 19 heroes. Uh, so this is a not an easy thing to do. Just barely gets this defensive queen down and really gets the air defense down just in time via that king. All his queen needs to do here is take care of these CC troops, and he's got a quad Lalo he's going to bring in from this back end. So poison goes down to help the queen. He's got to hit that ability before the balloons get the shots off. Uh, balloons don't know what to do when she hits the ability, so that is perfect. Buys just enough time. Dragon is just going to go down with the queen in red health. Perfect, perfect job on that, Rob. Nice little read on that little entry there. I thought that was perfect. Right, so there's only three defense, air defenses now remaining uh, for four Lava Hounds and about 17 balloons I think he brought. So Haste kind of pushed everything in uh, right into this little core section. I really liked how you uh, were very patient on your Lava Hounds, Rob. You drop one, drop the balloons. Drop another one, drop the balloons, right? You always want those balloons going right in behind those Lava Hounds. As you can see, he's going to drop a few more. Boom, boom, right? 
just feeding these lava hounds one at a time to these air defense. Thought it was absolutely perfect. So he's got that full one. Another lava hound down on that wizard tire looking good. Does have one more lava hound. Bam, there it goes to drop on this remaining air defense, right? Just gets there right in time, right as the lava hound burst, his, his third lava hound burst. The fourth one gets there. So just fantastic deployment. A huge key to this, guys. Uh, is your deployment when you deploy your lava hounds where you deploy your balloons where you drop your spells it, it's that is the key to success with your lavos right uh, you can't just spam your balloons and expect you're gonna uh, your loons and lava hounds and expect you're gonna three star so nice job Rob amazing deployment love the little suicide hero trick you did there um, you know it can be done at Town Hall 9 what I really like about this is this is a very good uh, thing to practice at nine because it prepares you for town hall 10 because that is a very viable th10 three star strat you know the, uh, i've showed many many replays right suicide heroes quad lalo as long as you can take an air defense the cc and the defensive queen with your suicide heroes you're in amazing position so tough war invicta you know is what it is not going to sit here crying about it uh some really nice attacks just got to work on cleaning up those nines and uh uh, these kind of things won't matter. So um, clearly, I got to go find out what the heck it is my daughter is doing upstairs. <laughs> she was watching uh, Paw Patrol and eating a snack very peacefully not too long ago, but apparently something is going on. So I'm going to run <laughs> run out of here, guys. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.